Hello again, Nigel Ogden here with this week's edition of The Organist Entertains. Well, glad you've been able to join us and hope you'll be able to stay around for the next half hour or so. Something a little bit different this evening. On a fairly regular basis, we include tracks featuring state-of-the-art digital instruments of one kind or another, either as a supplement to pipe organ sounds or specific digital church and theatre organs. However, electronic organs sounded very different a few decades ago, and we thought it might be fun to remember some of the players and instruments which were in the spotlight in the days when this programme was in its infancy in the 1970s, before the digital revolution took place. To begin and end the programme, however, a couple of very recent tracks from Eddie Rouillet and his final CD called Swan Song, which was released last year prior to his recent retirement from the world of music. This lively opener features Hammond X5 Plus digital editions and it's a fun piece based on an original composition by the virtuoso violinist Paganini. He called it Moto Perpetuo. This arrangement by Jean-Jacques Perret is called Gossipo Perpetuo. Gossipo Perpetuo, expertly performed by Eddie Rouillet, and as I said, more from him at the end of the programme. Now, the American firm of Conn was really best known as a maker of quality brass and woodwind instruments, but from the mid-1940s they also began producing electronic organs, which were very much theatre organ-based in their design and sound. Well, in the 1960s and 70s in particular, they were one of the most popular electronic instruments on the market, particularly amongst those who fancied the idea of a mighty Wurlitzer in their front room. Well, America's George Wright recorded several LP albums on Con organs. This one features the three-manual Con 651, and this arrangement of I Love to Hear You Singing, originally recorded on 78 by someone greatly admired by Mr Wright, the early American theatre organist Jesse Crawford.
good right at the console of a Con 651 analogue electronic organ, and I love to hear you singing. Now, although con organs aren't made anymore, the name of Lowry is still going strong, and perhaps a little surprisingly, in the 1960s and 70s, the firm was reputed to be the largest manufacturer of electronic organs in the world, with one of their most popular models being called the Holiday. Well, the LP containing this next track doesn't actually specify the model being played, but I can definitely tell you that the man at the controls is someone who, for several decades, has been, and indeed still is, one of the UK's greatest performers on electronics, Harry Stoneham. Well, here's one of his classic tracks from that era, Fly Me to the Moon. Fly Me to the Moon, as arranged and played by Harry Stoneham on Lowry Electronic. Now, another brilliant player throughout the middle part of the 20th century was Harold Smart, son of the pioneer British theatre organist Charles, who outlived him by some years because, tragically, Harold died far too early, around 1980. Now, although he did some theatre organ work at the very start of his career, Harold really made a name for himself in the world of electronics, firstly on Hammond, and then in later years he became closely involved with Thomas Organs as one of their chief demonstrators. Well, this next track will certainly give you some idea of his expertise. It's an arrangement of the Latin favourite Quando, 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 played on a model called the Thomas Electra. <laughs> Thank you. 
the one and only Harold Smart on Thomas Electra in 1970. Now, the Baldwin Company in Ohio first started producing pianos in the 1890s. Electronic organs came along in 1946, and they continued to make these until 1995, making good use of the many advances in technology which took place during the intervening years. Incidentally, the company still makes pianos. And once again, I'm afraid it's an unspecified model of Baldwin organ which is played here by American jazz musician Dick Hyman, and it's that Duke Ellington classic, I'm Beginning to See the Light. Dick Hyman plays Duke Ellington on Baldwin Electronics. Now, I've tried to include just a few makes and models of instruments which never get heard on the airwaves these days, but we really also have to include something on Vintage Hammond, a name which has been synonymous with the world of electronic organs for over 80 years. Yet another of the UK's greatest mid-20th century exponents of the instrument coming up, in the form of Jerry Allen, and his own arrangement of a Jerome Kern classic, All the Things You Are, played on Hammond C3. <laughs>
All the Things You Are, Jerry Allen style on Hammond C3, with, as you probably noticed, a bit of help from his trio in the middle section. Well, as promised, and to round things off for this week, we come right back up to date with another track from Eddie Rouillet's latest and final CD called Swan Song, featuring the sounds of the Hammond X5 with assistance from digital keyboards and percussion. This is an old piano party piece from many moons ago, but not inappropriate for the time of year, The Swallows Return. <laughs> Thank you. 
The Swallows return from Eddie Rouye, and I'm afraid that's just about the lot for another week. I hope you've enjoyed a touch of electronic organ nostalgia this evening. If you'd like to hear it all over again at any time during the next month, just choose that option via the website at bbc.co.uk slash radio 2. And that's also the address you need to check up on anything else to do with the programme, and where you can find details of concerts taking place around the UK during the coming week or so. If you'd like to get in touch, our email address remains the same as ever, organist.entertains at bbc.co.uk, or if you prefer, you can drop us a line at BBC Radio 2, Birmingham B1 1RF. Until next Tuesday, just after the 11 o'clock news, and with thanks to producer Bob McDowell, this is Nigel Ogden saying thank you for listening. Coming up next, Frank Renton with Listen to the Band. (laughs) 